What's up guys, Ammar here and in this video I will talk about my 32 terabyte storage solution. Guys, if you are new to this channel, in this channel I have unboxing and reviews for the latest technology gears and gadgets, photography, videography tips, camera reviews and gaming. So consider to subscribe. For my 32 terabyte storage solution, I built this solution using Western Digital MyBook Do. At the beginning, I got this, the WD MyBook Do. It is 16 terabytes and it is available in many different configurations 4 terabytes, 6 terabytes, 8 terabytes, 12 and up to 16 terabytes I got the 16 terabytes model it is amazing system guys and it is blazingly fast it is up to 300 megabytes per second so you can copy 1 gigabyte file to this system in just 3 seconds I got this system and this system will give you the flexibility to use it as RAID 0 or RAID 1 or even JBOD, just bunch of disks. After I got the system, I start using it as RAID 1. With RAID 1, you will get half of the storage. You will get access to just half of the storage because the system will allow you to see only one drive and the second drive will be just backup of the first drive every time you write a new file to the storage the storage will write the file to the first drive and also to the second drive if something happened to one of the drives you can just take it out and plug a new drive and the storage or the enclosure or the system will build the RAID again. After I used this setup for some time, I realized it is not the perfect setup for me for two reasons. The first reason, the capacity. Yes, this system is 16 terabytes, but after I configured it as RAID 1, the capacity dropped from 16 terabytes to 8 terabytes. And because I shoot a lot of photos and videos, and mainly 4K videos, I need more capacity. I need more than 8 terabytes to store my data. Reason number two, related to the backup and the safety of the data. Now, if you got one system like this one, and you configured it as RAID 1, if you think this system is safe, you are wrong why because if something happened to this system if something happened to this enclosure you will not have access to your data especially if you are using some kind of encryption you will not be able to read the drives even if you take these drives and start connecting it to your computer your computer will not be able to recognize the new drives and the system will ask you to format the drives first before mounting it and start using it. So if something happened to the enclosure, you will lose your data. One more thing, with RAID 1, you will not have control how this system working and how this system behaving. Let me explain to you guys. With RAID 1, again, you will write to the two drives at the same time but you will see only one drive so if you got such system and you configure it as RAID 1 you will see only one drive so once you write a new file this file will go to the two drives you will see only one copy this is what will what the system will show you and also if you deleted one file even by mistake this RAID system will delete the file from the two drives at the same time to solve the problems of the capacity and how the RAID dealing with my data and files I got another copy of the WD MyBook Do so now I have two copies each one 16 terabytes I configured each one of these storages as RAID 0 so I have full 16 terabytes 
with the full speed, 300 megabytes per second. And I write all my data to one storage. And the second storage is just backup of the first storage. So now if something happened to one storage system, still I have my data stored on another standalone storage system. And to keep my files always synced between the two storages, I got one application called Git Backup 3. This application, it is for Mac. You can get it from the App Store and it is just $5. This application will allow you to create some kind of synchronization between the two storages. I use this application to configure my main storage on the left side and the second backup storage on the right side. And I ask this software to take all the changes on the left side and copy it to the right side. If I manage to add any file to the left side, the application will copy it to the right side. And also, I ask the application to do not delete any single file from the right side, even if I deleted it from the left side. So guys, this is how my 32 terabyte solution working and how I'm using it. In the description below, guys, I will keep links from where you can get the Git Backup 3 application. Also, I will keep links from where you can get the Western Digital MyBook Do storage. And by the way, there's a new version from this storage and the new version supports USB-C as well and it can go up to 20 terabytes. Also, I will keep links for the new storage in the description below. Thanks guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and I will see you all in the next video.